Okay. And go for that chicken. All right, the chicken. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh, the chicken. Um, let's see if I... Yeah. Ooh, that's, uh... You have a plus six? Yeah, I have a four and plus two because of my paws. Uh, the paws are damage. Oh, damage. Then it's just uh, minus two. Yeah, and you're using your fists, right? Yeah. All right. Minus two then. Um, all right. Well, it will try to dodge as it does. And it succeeds in dodging. Uh, actually, the, the attacker wins in this case. Oh, okay. With so, the zero shifts? Zero shifts, yeah. All right. Well, you are super strong and you have claws. So that's four damage even when you don't get shifts. Okay. Uh, the chicken does have a little bit of armor, um, but beyond that, doesn't really have a whole lot. So uh, it will take some. It will take some stress. It says two for your fists attacks. I thought it meant plus two to my hit. It is. It counts as a weapon too, I believe. Yeah, it counts as extra damage. Okay. That's why you still cut it, even though. Uh, you know. All I right. I am using my paws. This uh, this being here uh, looks to uh, looks to uh, to Felix inside the car and and lets out a, a sort of sh- screeching snarl. Uh, its eyes fixating on sort of through the broken windshield on his uh, sort of lower uh, lower sort of belly area as it twitches its claws. Uh, it does, however, not go near the car. As it turns out, uh, instead it will try to uh, gather up its wintry cold around it and lash out with that against him. And it will roll its discipline. Uh, I suppose I should say how many shifts. It will do six shifts. Standard. You can attempt to dodge. Zero. Um, all right, that would then be seven uh, physical stress. That's the sort of the ray and gust of cold and ice oh, crystals and shards uh, just to smash through the car. That is, that is more than double that I can take. Um, I actually have armor one, so I guess it's six. Yeah. Um, but that's still double what I can take. Uh, yeah, you can take a moderate consequence, which would you re- reduce it by four, or a severe one, which would, would reduce it by six. Or you could take both a mild and a moderate for also six. Uh, what was a mild two? Mild is two. Mm, moderate four. Moderate is four, yes. Well, I guess I'll take a moderate then. What's the descriptions of those? Uh, moderate is belly slash, bad first degree burn, twisted ankle, exhausted or drunk. Right, so something akin to a belly slash. Frost uh, burn. But you decide what you want to word it for. Well, magic cold attack hits, uh, hits him pretty bad, and freezes up his uh, part of his body, which is like his skin crackles a bit and blood seeps forth. Mm-hmm. His T-shirt is ruined. <laughs> it um, hurt. You know, the consequence uh, put put it in in like the aspects on your properties, so I remember what it is, because otherwise I'll forget forever. It would be like cold burn or something like that. It seems to still have its eyes focused on you. Uh, by the way. Well, this is nice. Um. Well, time to uh, time to get some more defense rolling. Uh, Felix will activate his boots. Give him a, a bit more athletics for this scene. 
Uh, perhaps he can dodge a bit more later on. Ah, uh, he's next to a murder chicken, but that thing over there is apparently has it out for him, and he doesn't like that. <sighs> so he's gonna he's gonna glare at it and say, "Strike at me, will you?" And then he will gather up more of his power to try to shoot something back at it. And I'm gonna go for a fire attack here mm. because if it's cold, it probably doesn't like fire. That's my guess. That is my guess. Um, right. Well, we are going to do a six shift attack on him. Her? Yeah. Well, it. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, for the Molten Spear, uh, which is a road spell, so I don't need to control it. I just need to basically do an attack roll. Yeah. For a seven. A seven, you say? All right. It will. Uh, it will attempt to do its. Uh, its athletics. To dodge. As it blurs a little bit with incredible speed, but you still hit it. Well, uh, in that case, that is seven fire damage on it. Seven fire damage, huh? Does that seem to hurt it even more? Uh, it's 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 sort of it it doesn't seem to be as hurt as you would think it would uh, but uh, it's it's kind of difficult to say it it sort of lets out a, a guttural guttural roar uh, that sort of shakes the the air around it and uh, we'll take that stress uh, yeah we can't fight this guys we need to get out of here Uh, this little thing here will turn and try to fight this uh, this wolf that is attacking it in a mad dash for absolutely doing horrible. But uh, so you want me to use athletics against that? Th you could, yeah. Well, you have to really. Yeah, and how my in my super speed thingy? It gives you a plus two when you dodge. And that's what I'm trying to do now. Yeah. So, four. You dodge that completely. Chicken will try to cut you with its, its razor blade feet. Okay, can I dodge that too? Yes, you can dodge all, every, all the time. Yeah, alright, they don't, they don't do anything to you. Damn, chicken. As, as he, he hisses at you and says, uh, uh, Join the hunt or die! So the other one doesn't want to get too close to all those ice crystals, but this guy over here uh, is a person, so I'll try to just step at him. Martin. Uh, okay, I guess I'll have to dodge. Actually, could I invoke the the behind cover here? He is on the wrong side, but maybe I can like slip past the door so that attack hits probably maybe hits the door instead sure you all right uh, that would give me a plus two from the behind cover which would be enough you dodge yeah the chicken though will try to slice at you oh, no not the chicken <laughs> nope chicken hits me all right well uh the chicken the chicken then deals it's uh that's two shifts, and then it deals four points of stress. Four points in total? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to take a mild consequence here then. Maybe even a moderate one. Uh, let's go for a mild consequence, something like a uh, like nasty chicken scratch. Sure. You know, that, that sounds appropriate. Uh, which would reduce that to two points, which I can't take. Mm -hmm. Nasty chicken stretch. Alright. Uh, this figure here... Well, uh... Doesn't seem to want to get too close to this car. Uh, and if you look, the horse is actually not really riding on the land, but sort of slightly hovering with sort of black mist around its hooves. 
as uh, as he circles around uh, circles around this whole thing he takes out a little horn and sort of blows it letting out a, a sort of a screech and uh, and but <clears throat> then doesn't he get close to the other part cars hmm? doesn't he get close to other part yeah, cars yeah he can like right on top of them oh, okay uh, Oh, he doesn't really want to. Uh, and I'm going to say, uh, Tia, you're a... Uh, you're a what, what's your high concept again? Uh, my high concept... You're, uh, you're a wolfware delivery girl, right? Yeah. You're a wolfware. Okay. This horn blow speaks to you. It makes you want to hunt. It makes you want to go with them and hunt. Resist it and pay your fate point that you have. I or you could go with it. But I have a, a face aspect I could use. N never split the pack. Well, you would want to resist, resist then, and that would cost yeah. you a fate point to go I, against. I don't think I have a fate point. I you have one you start with. Oh. If you double click, I've added it to your token in your GM name. But uh, I thought you said you c I could use my, my aspect against these kind of stuff. This is what's called a compel. Basically, this is a time where something you are, an aspect of yours, makes life difficult for you. If you go with it, you have to do what is your asked, but you gain a fate point. If you say, no, I do not want to do that, then uh, you pay a fate point. Even though I have the never split the pack, because this is my that is pack. something that is something you would uh, okay. Let, let's say this then to, to get a compromise. How about uh, it then becomes that the next thing you do here that is not going with them and hunting, you get a minus two to that instead of having to join them. Well, I really don't want to join them. They don't seem nice. Or you could say no. I don't want a minus two either. And then just. Well, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what you're asking of me. Basically, I'm offering you a fate point if you'll take a minus two to the next thing you do. Yeah, either you agree to cause drama in some way or another, or you pay a fate point. But isn't it a good thing to keep hold on to your fate points? Yeah, exactly. So you can either choose to do something dramatic, something stupid in a sense, or you pay a fate point. What else can I use a fate point for? You can use it, for example, to say, I'm behind cover, I get a plus two. And then you pay the fate point, and then you get the plus two. Or you can use it to say, I'm a wolfware, I'm good at fighting, so I can reroll my fighting check. And then you get to reroll your fighting check. It is what you use to, for example, say, I draw power from the storm above, uh, and such things. You use them and say, this aspect I have makes me better at this, so I can pay a fate point and then get a plus two. Or reroll. Mm. You could get a minus two to the next thing you do, which could be something that doesn't matter at all. But uh, uh, so, so it's only for the next thing I do. Next thing you do, you're distracted. You want to join them, but because you're so you have aspects that say the opposite as well, I'm okay with that. Okay, then I'll do that. Right, you know, you get a fate point after the battle. Basically, you'll you'll get a fate point for that. I I don't know why you put fate points though. Just to double click your token in the GM name I have written. Um, oh, yeah, there. For now, you can write a parenthesis with two, and then when the encounter here is over, you can just let that become two. Right. So that you only have it afterwards. All right. Yeah. I don't know that anyone else has a. Or anyone else has a has a hunter a hunter esque? No. Yeah. Uh, Shin. There's a tiger. Yeah. So if I cast a spell, can I move after that, or do I need to move before? Yeah, you that? can. Uh, you can move outside these lines, so they can easily catch up to you. But yeah. Um. Too bad that horse can. Yeah, I mean. Well, I basically want to cast a spell to use my spirit magic to banish this tiger to wherever it came from. Basically, like deform it. Mm -hmm. 
it's like an attack spell. Yeah. Like eroded magic, yeah. yeah. Eroded spirit. Um, okay. An eraser to a light to a to a whiteboard. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'll do the. Mm, so you take one, one from casting, and if you go yep. over one, you get one more. So you, do you yep. combine those to have like two? Yeah. Two shift them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can do that. I can go pull out five or six power, uh -huh. and then yeah, I get two from that. Add two mental stress. And uh, that's not a rogue no. spell, is it? No. Then you have to roll for the control. Just yeah, my control. binding spell before was a rogue spell, but I didn't remember that. Ah, uh, all right. Okay. So if you can control it. Probably not, but here goes. Oh, oh five, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> nope. Uh, you no, know, that is not six. There is four backlash or fallout. Mm hmm. Um, what if I take all my boxes? Did something bad happen then, or...? If you check all your boxes, no. No, that's okay. fine. The, the bad thing happens when you run out of boxes. Like when you can't check one. Okay, so if I would cast another spell and I have like one shift to do, I won't have any places to put it anymore? Uh, yeah, basically, if you have if you have all your boxes checked and you have get one shift, you have to take a consequence or just like go down. Okay. But uh, but yeah, this would be four backlash, and you have four you have four mental stress, so you can yeah. just take that and absorb yeah. it into your head. Yeah, I was just wondering if uh, having all my boxes ticked would be a really bad thing. No, it doesn't do anything like to hurt you, but yeah. things are unlikely to attack you with mental stress. Is what you can think. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah, I'll take it as stress. All right, and then you get to uh, to roll your attack. Um, is that the that is it's that your, the six? It's your discipline uh, roll? Okay. Uh, was that that? Yeah. Yeah. All right, then it gets to try to dodge. And it will try to dodge because it's very fast, as it turns out. It dodges, uh, jumping away from like the spirit hands and whatnot. You reach out for it. Hmm. I will also. Man. I mean, I wanted to go to one of the parked cars and see if we can like get another car to ride out of here, but that man, that things. Like, where are the parked cars? Uh, they are around. If you spend a fate point, you get to decide where there is one, because it's an aspect. So you would invoke oh. it. And say, otherwise, I, I know, otherwise I can't run up to a car if I don't. Uh, yeah, but it's not going to do you much. Yeah. I'm going to. This thing doesn't seem to like the car, so over there. Martin. Uh, well, let's see. He just got scratched by a chicken. Was that enough to satisfy my involuntary change? Sure. All right, let's have that happen then. As I'll get my token. Right. As as okay. Martin looks looks panicked for a moment, and then basically explodes almost. The the car probably getting pushed slightly, as where he stood before. A big ass dragon now stands. Looking down on the chickens, looking down at everything else, really. But, you know, he's still him. He's still smart. So, as a probably a free action, he would like to just turn towards the, the goblinoid figure in the distance and say, Listen, I think this is just a terrible misunderstanding. Your hunt sounds good. Great. Let's just, you know, give us a moment. All right? How about that? Does it respond at all? 
uh, it simply uh, blows the horn and says, you know, join us or die. Not very talkative. It seems to be in a sort of a flurry of, of rage and, and, and hunting vigor. Oh, well then, Matt is trying to is going to try to squish this chicken. All right. By swiping at it. That's a good roll. Chicken's gonna try to, to dodge you. All right, you uh, still hit that, it though. That still connects, so that is two points, I believe. Yes, two points from the claws. Nothing else. You're not like strong or no. All right, two points from the claws. Then it's it's armor. It takes a little bit of that. Uh, Supposed to check it. Sort of sidesteps the huge foot that like smacks down. Uh, and then I guess moving is also fish, right? Uh, yeah, as long as you're within this this area. Oh, well, Barton would then like to kind of be in the way of both this like tiger and this chicken. As he smashes on top of the back of the car, perhaps. I mean, the car is kind of broken anyway. Strange so at crunches. Point, Felix probably Felix, like, yeah. yeah. Felix, you might want to get out. Well, the tiger's fine with that. So he will try to strike at the big thing. Right. He does get a plus one because I'm big. It's a three. A fray. So Martin will try to dodge, which he's not very good at. But okay, that just it's matches. Hit, that means. Yes. So that is four points of stress. Four points. All right. Martin will take that. Uh, on the other hand, is he targeting my weakness, or is he just kind of swiping? No, he doesn't. All he's right. Swiping. Then it, then the tiger. He's not like super smart, but dragons. The skills take a lot of the punishment. Seems fearless, though. Maybe it's uh, maybe it isn't already dead. Tia? Yeah. Um, these chicken, oh, do they, they don't seem very scary. Um, that f- thing over there uh-huh. can uh, Tia smell it? Uh, it smells just like cold, like dunking her nose in ice water. That's not very nice. I'll go for that chicken. Right. I don't know what it is. So I have minus two, so just two. Why do you have minus two? Because of the thing that happened last time. The next thing I do, I have a minus two. Oh, yes, yes. So it's just a two. Yeah. Oh. Right, chicken tries to dodge Damn it, chicken! Chicken touches. Are you playing chicken with me, chicken? Uh, this thing looks to uh, to Shin as he is. Uh, it seems like Felix is in the car. Uh, Shin, however, isn't, and it uh, moves with surprising speed, sort of almost running through the through the air. It's long, sort of four limbs. It's 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 long arms with the long, sort of shiny, shiny, probably incredibly sharp claws, uh, almost scraping the ground as it moves to. Uh, well, I mean, Martin did say he was in the way, so it'll actually move to slash at him first as he's protecting its quarry. He'll try to be as much in the way as he physically can. Uh, right. Let's see, trying to... Oh, boy. Uh, well, he'll try to dodge a bit. All right. That is... Uh, It'll be nine, then, right? Uh, is that already the plus one in that no. roll? That would be nine. Does he have any extra damage things? Yes. Of course he does. It does have extra damage things. That would be 15 points of damage. 15? Okay. As it turns out, I don't have 15 boxes. Um, Oof. Uh, Well, let's let's take a severe consequence, I guess. Uh Let's see. Crippling shame. No, not quite. It, by the way, is trying to slash at your belly. 
course it is. Uh, it seems to focus on that area. Let's see, do, do you have any suggestions? Just uh, wipe your well, tail off. Belly slice would be something. All right, let, let's go for that. As, as, it, as it wishes to basically go from about your hip and then just cut to the other hip. Not really deep enough to cut into your guts, but just to open it. Uh, let's see. It's supposed to be wild. SSF. Well, all right. That gets it down to nine, which I can take. Huh. All right. This is a thing. It uh, it hisses. And uh, and and actually says words, though its mouth moves in 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 strange, sort of almost like it's trying to to swallow something when it speaks. As it says, uh, "Wizards, the children will not forgive you, nor will I." As as it as it hisses and sort of spits on the ground, it's it's spittle freezing uh, as it hits the pavement. Uh, well, as I said, we need to get out of here. We can't fight this can thing. We ride, can we ride the dragon to get no, out of here? the dragon doesn't fly. Yeah, but also, it runs really fast. It flies, come on. You do? I thought you said you didn't. It can fly. Okay. Just, you might randomly change back. Although, probably not with a bleeding belly, so that's good. Yes, lots of blood. Just get all on him, and then we fly away. Yep, that sounds like a plan to me. Uh, would Felix think that the goblin is the, actually the leader of this group? No, that no. is definitely this strange figure. Yeah, it I is from it's... that one that this hunting aura almost is coming. Yeah, I, I can, we can't defeat him. Like that's, that's simply not in the cards. Felix is gonna jump out the window and crawl up upon uh, upon Martin and be like, "Everyone, get on the dragon! We need to get out of here." That is a free for you to do. Is there anything else you want to do? Maybe try to, to make a shield or... or I can know. handle the shield if you just shoot them. Okay. Well, uh, in that case... Does the, does the goblin have any weapons? Uh, yes. He has like a long spear. Right, let's, let's screw up the goblin then. Uh, more lightning. More lightning. Using the storm, if if or was that a what is that something for free? It's an or? invoking thing. Okay. Uh, like yeah. a like a feed point thing. Yeah. Well, I'll just I'll just smash him with lightning. Uh huh. Uh, smash him with lightning. Uh huh. For a seven. All right. You will attempt to, to attempt to dodge with his with his goblin uh, dodging, which turns out is not actually that great. To most other things that he does. Four. That's a three shift. That is a nine damage then. Nine damage then. All right. He has like his his goblin hide and armor, um, which takes that down to eight. But that is still more than he has stress boxes. So uh, I suppose he too is like like smashed. Uh, you were lightning, right? You can describe it. Yeah, well, Felix, you know, whips his staff around, and lightning shoots out from it, uh, hits the goblin square in the chest, and sends him flying off down the street and crashing into some cars. You want to kill him, or do you want to? Yeah, kill him. Well, if you, uh, he might not die first, but he smashes into the cars, where, where you just hear sort of a, a sizzling, uh, as if as if sort of you put bone in, in strong acid, and just like smoke uh, as, as the thing hits the metal. The Felix steel metal. We'll also shout out to the creature below him and says, I don't know of what you speak of, creatures. We m might be a wizard, but I have not done nothing to you. You attacked us! As the, like the lightning hits the goblin and vaporizes it. <laughs> we just wanted to get home in peace, not in pieces. This chicken here will attack the wolf. So all the chicken you can just walk to at the same time because I don't actually think you're gonna fail. Uh, yeah, I don't think so either. My athletic is free, and I get the plus two, yeah. 
Yeah. Do you still want me to roll? Yeah. Oh yeah, you dodged that handily. Uh, this one? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't like being that close to, to the other one, so it likes to be up up here as well. Could roll me two more dodges. A zero. And a, a, a two. Oh god. They got Ninja nothing wolf. for speed. You can just dart around them. These little chickens don't don't have anything. Just imagine if you, if you poke the chickens, they fall on their side and they can't get up because of the armor. They do seem to hover easily and like be very maneuverable. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you know, this, if, like, if, if it black was a, smoke that's everywhere. If it was a real chicken, you know. This guy's out. His horse uh, will actually, when he is gone, it'll sort of turn into black mist. Just sort of fly around the area. Formless. Shin. Oh. We'll also hop on the dragon. Okay. And um, if I cast a block spell on the dragon, uh, on will the dragon? It might, yeah, if it will it keep us still on like inside the Basically, I want to cover all of us with the dragon, the block spell. Uh, let's see here. You can choose to have your... Uh, you can choose to make armor for someone. You do that, you would make a block on the dragon, and it would get half your number of shifts in armor. Hmm. You could also... I think what they're trying to do is give multiple people a block. Basically, like, create a force field around here, so... Gives us that time. Like armor. Making armor. Right? Yeah, if, you're, if your intention is to protect us from damage, that would be considered a block. Probably. Or armor. Depending on if it's what you fancy a, at the a, time. If it's a one unit you're trying to do, it, one enemy, then it, it's like a blocking them. If it's armor to sheep, then it would be... Yeah, put a block on him with the armor. Mm. Actually, like... Or uh, you could create an aspect, like, shielded, and then you would get a free Vogue on it. Uh. Actually, uh, next turn you get to move sheep. So, are we gonna take off right away? Are you gonna pick Goldie from the hood there? We just fly off, or...? I mean, that, that's currently the plan, yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll cast a shield on the dragon then. Right. You want to make armor? Yeah. All right. You can you can do your, your concentration. I suppose. Yeah. Is it a road uh, spell? No. The I could use a road spell, but I want to use something bigger. Uh, if I like. Uh, because I can't, don't have any more boxes left, mm -hmm. and I can take a consequence. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there a consequence for like um, going unconscious? Uh, uh, that could be uh, uh, generally no. That would not be a consequence you would take. That's basically if you don't take any consequences, you can go unconscious. Or have your mind split or something. I basically want to summon so much power that the shift would be like what, four or six or whatever it is to take a consequence to fall unconscious. Although no, I guess... Like, conscious is not really a consequence as much as it is a possible defeat. A consequence might last for longer. If you take a high consequence and set it to be unconscious, you might be unconscious for a long time. Like a really long time. Mm. A consequence is better written as something that a medium one would take some time to heal, a severe one would take a long time to heal. So how many shifts would it take for me to fall unconscious for a little while? Not like a consequence, but... Uh, a little while? Um, well, I mean, the mildest thing you're going to do to yourself is a, is a medium consequence at this point. Mm. And that would not be unconsciousness. That would be something, yeah, uh, sheep had like written uh, things. A like. mild consequence would cancel out two stress. Yeah. Well, he already which... has a mild one. Oh, you have him. Uh, then the... Lowest one you could take would be moderate, which is four. No, but that's a physical. 
you you don't share the consequences. You have a, a mild, severe, and like medium, and they are between everything. Mild, moderate, severe, and then extreme, which you really don't want to take. Okay, I thought there was like two miles at least or something. Well, I'll just use a road spell then to cast a shield on the dragon. It's uh, four shifts and I guess I don't need discipline to... Yes, but you would still take stress from a road spell. So you would still have to basically take a moderate consequence. Moderate consequence. What were those? Was there like a splitting headache and stuff like that? Uh, that could be one. Okay. I'll take that. The real question is how long do they last cheap? Uh, moderate lasts until the end of the next session after recovery starts. So that mm. would be one hell so of a headache. this session and the next one. Yep. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> That's big. Uh, well, I'm... Hmm. Okay. Okay, this is this is better. Before getting on the dragon, go over. I'll hit the tiger, then jump on the dragon. Just to mess with Probably it. Probably assume that ghosts are good against being hit, but. Uh, you know. Oh, it dodged my spell already, which is, I don't know, kind of weird that it can dodge spirit magic, but okay. It's better than doing nothing, I guess. Or I can, if I jump on the dragon, I could. Uh, try to invoke an aspect that I hold on to the dragon that I'm really like. Sure, make yourself holding. easier to carry. Yeah, sure, holding on tightly. That. But what do you plan to do to use that use for that? Basically, invoke it if the flying gets rough. Sure, but what skill do you want to make use to make it? Uh, that would sounds, be sounds like might or and, maybe. It. Yeah, might endurance. Might or endurance? Not really endurance. You're not really. Well, I suppose. Yeah. Why not? Do it. Yeah, that's enough to hold on tight. Get a an aspect called holding on tight. Okay. Martin. All right, Martin, bleeding from a bad chicken scratch as well as a slice of belly, which is slightly more severe. Uh, would like to take off and grab Goldie in flight with one of his claws or something? Huh. How, how well, would we huh. even handle that? Well, seems like flying with these people on your on you is, is harder than just flying ordinarily, so... I mean... Do you think a might might be uh, applicable there? To... Uh, that sounds about right. Would that be considered in the context of lifting something. He is technically yeah. lifting himself, so, sure. all right. Lifting things, his wings. Let's, let's give it all his might then, at a five. All right, that's fine. And picking up Goldie, I'd say that's probably like an, an athletics. All right. Uh, what kind of difficulty are we looking at, would you say? This uh, well, it's kind of something you can do with your big bat. You're like big dragon feet. Dragon hands. Do you have do you have six or four limbs? Six, of course. Six limbs. Oh, great. <laughs> all right. Well, sure. Do you have arms and two? And all right. Uh, let's say that's like she, a four. She also that's, probably that's wants to be to pick up a wolf who's fighting chickens. She probably wants to be grabbed, so she won't be fighting. She is dodging, however. Uh, uh you know what? Let's just. Delay after tier, so she can get on properly, because Martin isn't sure if she can pick her up while but she the is tiger? fighting. The, tiger. the tiger's fine. That's fine. The, uh, the tiger will uh, will will try to, to get you. Uh, for your hubris, I suppose. And you know what? Turns out that you have a bad chicken scratch. And you also uh, you also have a deep belly slice. That's that's true. And uh, and these things makes it the tiger. It smells your blood. It gets invigorated. It gets stronger. And you're moving slower, more awkwardly. It knows how to hunt hurt prey. It's very good at that. So it will get to uh, to basically. I suppose it didn't really do any of them. So I suppose that would be invoked uh, against you rather uh, than for it. Uh, not that that okay. makes a huge lot of difference. 
So your dodge would have a minus four to it. You know, uh, I can probably take that. So, all right. That's six. Uh -huh. It is six, uh, plus it's two. So that's eight. I can take eight. That's fine. Another scratch. What does it matter with the, the big ones I already have? Hmm. Sure. The uh, the creature over here is, is hissing at you with its long claws, though it does seem to want the people on your back more. Uh, you don't have your... On this one, I'll look at your aspects here, because maybe there's an aspect that... Uh, well, uh, Sheep, you have too many friends in too many places. Maybe you could get rid of some rather easily and get away at the same time. If you were to throw these people off your back accidentally when you fly away, it would probably not follow I, you. I think it was supposed to be my turn. Yeah. It, it is supposed to be TSN, yeah. I will still invoke that, though. Uh... Well, you that's, think that's, not a, book? that's not exactly how the aspect is meant. Is the really? Thing, but Ut I <laughs> complete and utter treachery against someone he has known for years. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> that is a fine. bit much. The, the aspect isn't really meant in that way either, but I can see why you I, would. I wanted think to try it, but uh, it's fine, Chief. You don't have to. Tina. Well, Tia will leave over chickens and jump on the roof and. <laughs> uh see if she can make sure that one of you can hold on to her because she can't hold on. She can't turn into a person now if she wants. In my jump? Yeah, it's a supplemental thing. And you okay. basically haven't used an action just by jumping on. That's free! You can do that. Okay, You're hardcore. Then four. she will jump and hold on to the nearest person. Like, grab Felix and hold yeah, on to Yeah, grab her. Felix. Grab me. I'm, I'm holding on tightly. I'm not gonna let go. Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> you, you weren't that close. All right, well, all on the dragon. It gets to be uh, like a, oh, right. dragon with a dragon with a load on his back. You can use the roll <laughs> you had before. Let's leave. Okay. So you'll try to sure. jump up, crash it, like crushing his one of his favorite cars even more. But he doesn't the even have the ener starts. energy to sigh. As he would like, I, I don't know how he would like to handle this, but he will essentially try to book it and never come back somewhere. Mm. Just distance. Oh. Fly away. I didn't there's like 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 ice crystals and then thunder and whatnot. Uh, how good is his stealth? Uh, it can't be higher than mediocre. Like it physically, as per the rules, can't be higher than mediocre. Because he's huge. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, uh, strangely enough, luck has it that uh, that none of the rays hit him as he as he manages to to fly away from from this place, leaving whatever thing might be going on down there behind him. The the rain now being joined by by fake drops of of like dragon blood. Uh -huh. No one's out in this weather, though. So it was weird that there was a horse. Where does he fly to? Uh, just away for a little bit. Maybe find like a flat rooftop of a sturdy house just to rest for a moment. So some kilometers away. It's probably too really hard to talk as he's flying, so he'll just find a spot that looks safe enough for at least a moment. Sure. Yeah, he can. He can land the rooftops. He doesn't think that people are following him. Doesn't seem like it. As he'll land, resist the urge to shake the rain off of him for just a moment longer. Mm -hmm. Turning around to the people currently clinging to his back, saying, "Well." Uh, Tia will immediately get off. Like, sorry. You, you did want action, Felix. Also, yes. this uh, would you guys say that uh, 
Yeah, let's let's roll this as a defeat, a concede, so to speak. You left without defeating the opponents, and they maybe didn't get exactly what they wanted, but uh, you know. So everyone who has taken a consequence, per consequence you have taken, you get one fate point. Okay, I accept. Woo. Well, that means that uh, Martin gets two, and Shin and uh, Felix each get one. Also, all your stress boxes refill. Taking a braver. I don't suppose that any of you know what the hell that was about. Felix shakes his head. No. I From what they said, I suppose they are part of the wild hunt, perhaps. But uh, they smelled more of winter to me, all the ice and the storm. The horn definitely was made to make hunters follow them without choice. And yes, that big thing smelled just like ice. Felix nods. Yes. Could I, could I make a ro uh, lore roll after the fact? What would, your, what would your question be for, for the lore roll? What are you trying if, to think? If I know of these creatures, uh, Alright, go. Pick one. Uh, uh, we can just do a general. That might be easier than rolling tons of them. Let's just do one. Sure. Alright. That's a fairly decent. Well, one of them might have been a goblin. They are sort of uh, not generally too smart, but not also super stupid creatures. They are fairies uh, in, the, in the base sense. Generally, they are unaligned fairies, though they tend to be more winter than they do summer court. Uh, they are generally bad, and they don't generally like you. They uh, they like to hunt, and that's very much what they do. They often accompany like big big hunting dogs with whom they share sort of a, a pack instinct. They can look like humans if they desire to, though they usually are like big burly humans. They are more they are stronger and tougher and have an easier time recovering than uh, most like humans really uh beyond that they uh have an extreme allergic reaction to iron to cold iron or alloys with iron in it as most fairies do uh the other ones the small ones probably were some type of pixie though that is very strange they usually do not fight at all uh, that's not their thing at all um they don't really do battle. They're not very good at it, and they don't enjoy it. Uh, it seems to be out of their element, unless there's something different. The chickens seemed like chickens. Uh, they touched the cars without being burned, uh, so they probably weren't fairies, really. Tiger seemed like a ghost tiger. Uh, pretty straightforward. Killed probably have splattered into exoplasm. The big thing? That doesn't look like any fairy you've seen before. Or anything. Maybe it's a demon or some sort of other thing off the top of your head? Not something you encounter every day. Let's not take the armored car I fought. It's probably just hipsters I fought. Mm. If I had was hipsters, but... Seems likely there was some kind of fairy creature, though they didn't seemingly didn't want to get into the car in any way. I imagine the cold iron kept it away. Should have bought a tank. I it told you a tank. It talked about children. Was it talking about the dogs? They didn't look like children to me. M maybe he saw them as his children. I mean, they, they attacked kin. us. They did have kinship. They attacked us, though. As far as I remember, I haven't gotten and done battle with the Wild Hunt or the Court of Winter. At least not recently. Maybe it's a general thing against all wizards. That's a, that's a bit... That's a bit much, isn't it? All of us? Uh, 
I don't know. I mean, it's not too far-fetched that someone wouldn't like all wizards. <laughs> Felix frowns at the dragon. Now listen here. We're not all bad. Maybe the few bad ones ruined your reputation. For these fairies, of course. She kind of looks at Martin like, "Are you, are you okay? You're, you're kind of bleeding down there." Oh, thanks for noticing. I hadn't. Oh, don't be such a big baby. Felix uh, leans down and sort of looks at the cut. I will say it's a very magnificent form. I could smell some special about you. Oh, I'm special, all right. That's me. Special and bleeding. I'm sorry. I I shouldn't be so snappy. Well, we need to get you checked somewhere. Has this happened to you before? How do you... How do, who, who takes care of you in a situation like this? It's usually myself, but... I'll just, you know, get a really big bandage. I'm not, well, I am worried, but I'm not too overly worried. Worst case, I have my people. Now, I would, however, be worried about that happening again. So... Look at Felix, and uh, maybe there is a spell of some a divination spell of some kind that might alert us to their presence. And Felix is still sort of looking at the wound, frowning. It doesn't look very bad. What divination spells? Uh, he blinks in the rain. I uh, maybe. I mean, wards could be set up. That would last for a little bit if you to rest somewhere, but uh, I'd rather not go up against that thing again without knowing exactly what it is and what weaknesses it has. I hit it with a lot of firepower, and it barely even stopped moving. In a straight-up fight, it would kill us all. I think we all gathered as much. So, let's not fight it. Simple as that. We just need to know what these guys want, and if it's not something that concerns us, maybe we can just convince them to go about their thing. The question is if they actually attacked us, or if they... Did we interrupt something? We kind of drove well, one over. We, we did hit a, a... a hound, yeah. I mean, Maybe. I don't know if there's... They had something against wizards and something about children, so if there's a wizard running around doing something to children, then... You know, maybe those guys should keep hunting. Just not us. Well, how does their hunt normally go? Do they? What do they hunt? Would Felix's library have any answers for us? Felix shrugs. If it's the wild hunt, they just hunt for the sport of it. Any living thing they run across would be prey for them. Well, w would they keep hunting us, or would this just be those that got away? Difficult to say. They might see it as a personal insult and go after us. Or they might simply continue doing what they're doing. Uh, they're fairies. It's hard to say. Well, if they are just if they are just killing without direction, then we do need to stop them. Yes, I agree. At least but they don't have the, someone to blow that horn anymore to join more into their hunt. No, it's, yes, I'm pretty sure I took care of him. Yeah, there, there wasn't anything. Sheep, uh, why don't you add a fate point to Martin as his phone rings? Okay. The, the phone got caught in one of the scales or something. <laughs> Do you want me to get that? Uh, yes, please. I have 
Actually, he sort of looks, moves towards the front, and then stops. Uh, better not, probably. Maybe Shin, Tia? No, Tia, Tia, Tia you, you should <laughs> take this. I'll just stand over here for a bit. Right, uh, Tia goes and picks up the phone and almost says, Hello, this is the pizzeria, but she just takes it and looks at it. You want me to put it to your mouth? Um, well, uh, just tell me what's being said. Okay. Uh, Tia opens the phone and says, Hello? And so scratches it as, uh, as a voice says, uh, Ah, hello. This is Mr. North speaking. I believe I was calling Mr. Brun about a problem. Is he unavailable on this number? Um, just a sec. Uh, she puts her hand on, on the... Um, wait, wait. Yeah, the speaker. It's, a, it's some guy who asked you about if you're having a problem. What did just you say his name was? Mr. North. Mr. North? Oh, Martin, Martin sighs a bit. Just, just pretend you're my secretary or something. What do you what want? Does he want? He ask him what he wants. I, ask him why he's calling. He hears a muffled noise from the... Uh, she goes, this, this is Mr. Brun's secretary. What can I help you with? Please bring Mr. Brun to the phone. I'm not a man who appreciates waiting. I am, I'm very sorry. He cannot come to the phone right now, but I can tell him. She looks at Jude, if you were going to say something. Put it, put it on loudspeaker. Maybe that'll work. She nods. Oh, I, I, I think I see him now. Uh, you'll get him right away. I'm so sorry, sir. And she puts the on the speaker. Uh, uh, hello? Ah, Mr. Brun. Where are you right now? This doesn't sound like your office. I'm currently on a rooftop, I believe. It's been a bit of a wild night, I'm afraid, but I'm, of course, available, as always. What's the matter? A wild night, you say? I'm awfully curious to learn what that would entail. Ah, oh, many indulgence. things. Many things, few of which I wish to repeat. But that is, of course, not the purpose of your call, correct? It is not. Let's get to business, then. <sighs> business, yes. I have often been told that you are the man to call whenever something happens that is not quite easily explained. Your... People and I have an understanding, I believe, and so I suppose it falls to you to deal with one of my problems once in a while. So, yeah, uh, as it happens, something has happened that has disrupted some of my rather lucrative business, and I would rather have that this does not happen again. If your people would look into it and make sure that that is the case then I would be most happy with our... with continuing our current understanding. Of course, I am listening. I need some details, at least. Yes, of course. I have quite a bit for you, I believe. I make a point of not looking too far into things, so I will leave some of the detective work to you and yours, naturally. The police, however, has already been there. The ruckus was a bit too loud to hide. But I have the address of the officer responsible. You should be able to contact them there. I'll basically give you, like, an address. Okay. Is, uh, beyond that, there are certain things that might have been left out of police reports. One being that the place was covered in a strange liquid goo upon my arrival. My people had suffered several injuries, however most of them were either concussions from being thrown forcefully into the cages or walls. Beyond that, their lower bellies had been cut open by something sharp. Ah yes, quite the painful way to go I've heard. My Merchandise. It's all gone. No sign of it. Except for a single 
dead tiger. No signs of injuries. Beyond that, whatever you need to know, you might be able to speak with the local policeman about. Should have the report, I'll be writing it right now. Please, Mr. Run, take care of this, and we won't have a problem. He'll basically just cut off the connection. Merchandise? He, he did mention a tiger, so I would wager that his merchandise includes tigers. Quite the inconvenient time, although... He, he also, by the way, uh, gave you the location of this, this uh, disturbance. It is in one of the older subway tunnels uh, that sort of were uh, right where the wall was built and was closed down and had sort of its opening cemented shot uh, when, the, when, the, when the Berlin Wall was built. It has never been reopened. It seems we know where that spirit tiger came from now. Could be the case, yes. Although, I suppose it's as good a, a place to start as any. Also about him implying connections to him, don't think too much into that. It's just, you know, business and stuff. Felix is frowning. I don't really have a habit of helping out organized crime, Martin. I mean, the lines between honest people and organized crime are surprisingly blurry, Felix. Are they? I've, that's, I've never... I'm not sure I agree. 